Hello, welcome to StarCraft 2 graphics video tutorial series. I'm going to be making a little bit of a continue of my previous tutorial about terrain textures because this tutorial is going to cover up the process of making a new tile set. Yeah, that's it. So, the first thing I'm going to ask you is to go to StarCraft 2 Master and download my tile set. We're going to be making we're going to oh, let me try that again. We're going to be using a nice style set I made, so you can take a look at it in this screenshot. So you find it on assets, and then you pretty much select the the filter to well filters to style set, and then search for assets, and you'll find my style set right here. The all style set. So when you download, you're going to be having these files right here already in the DDS format. So you do not have to to convert them. You can also notice that each and every single one of these textures have a normal diffuse texture and a normal map or whatever. You can see we're going actually going to open it. Here's how a normal diffuse texture will look and here's all here's how a normal map will look like that so now that we have our files right here with our textures we're just going to go to straight up to galaxy editor and you're going to be importing the files uh, go to the import manager or function 9 key and we're actually going to do this fast right here there's all file select assets blah 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 I don't care about the path anymore and remember to save saving is a huge 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 step that you always need to remember when you import files otherwise your import file will simply not work so now that's done we're going to go to models again, <laughs> but now we're going to go to the data editor or function 7 key and we're going to go to the famous terrain texture tab or you can find it under terrain, terrain texture just click on it and it will actually automatically open so since we're actually going to be making a new tile set we're not going to be just replacing all textures with new ones we're going to be adding new objects and we're going to be naming these new objects as whatever name you want I'm going to be naming the um, eyes texture <coughs> sorry one just like that and I just pretty much press OK and now you have the pretty much normal things you have in the order see you pretty much have everything you have in the other textures so just go to texture modify the value you already should know this and browse and then find your textures we will show up eventually have them right here so I'm going to be starting up with this very first one and that's pretty much it the new step in here is that we're actually going to be adding normal maps this time. You don't have to worry about making them because as you saw before, you already have them. So all you have to do is pretty much modify value again, browse, and then for wait for your list to show up and pick the ones for normal. Each each texture has normal coming along with it. You can use the normals the normals are the ones that have normal at the very end of the name. I think that's pretty much obvious, I guess. And you're done. You can use this texture already, but we're actually going to be adding a new one. We're just going to use a texture to and suggest value, leave everything like that. Modify value of the texture. Bros, wait for the list to show up. 
and select new texture okay then go to the normal map right here same step modify value browse wait for the list to show up takes longer with my computer I guess and select the normal for it remember that the normals are the ones that have normal at the end of the name and then press ok and that's it just repeat this process for the four remaining textures okay so when you're done you can see that I'm actually done right now because I stopped recording for a little bit so I did all the other fours so now I'm done and everyone, every single one of these textures has a normal map right here with their normal ending name and the regular texture right here so now all you have to do is open up a new tab which is always under the terrain but it's actually called terrain texture sets so just go to this terrain texture sets and we're going to be adding a new object because obviously we're not replacing this time we're creating a new so we're just gonna name it I don't know Chandra Chandra Ice we're gonna click suggest name and we're gonna change the climate to ice and we're gonna just leave this at sea terrain set parent value and everything and leave it like that now we're done we're gonna press press ok you can see that we pretty much have in this tundra ice thing every single value that's in the other tile set I guess so we're going to select the tundra ice and we're gonna find this value of textures blend right there and we're gonna modify the value and you can see that you have all the blend textures right here for all the other tile sets and if you scroll down enough you should find the ice textures that we just added to the terrain textures tab so you can add them right here one by one or I think you should be able to also select multiple of them and just add them all at once you can see that we have six out of eight textures in our blend set so this means that you can actually select any of these textures right here and mix it mix them with the ice also that we made so let's say you want a little bit of a grass just a grass or I don't know this should be weird but let's add some gradient too and now we have 8 out of 8 so we're just gonna press ok and we're going to go to cliffs value 2 and we're going to modify the value add a new value and you have all the other ordinary cliffs I guess you can see that you actually can mix up tile sets right here just like we, we did with the textures and we mix a little bit of Aryu and Valhalla with our own tile set. So we're going to make, be using Belshir, I guess. And we're going to use another cliff set, which will be. I don't know, Redstone. Gonna press OK. And we're gonna save again. Remember to save, always remember to save. So now all you have to do once you have all everything done. All you have to do is go to map textures, map, map textures, and just pretty much find the tiles that you made. You can see that I have my tundra eyes right here, and I'm going to change mine to the size texture too. Okay, yeah, I cannot be undone. So we have brushes right here, you can see that. I'm actually painting with my tile set and I have all the all the other textures right here so I can paint with them I actually even have this grading it actually looks weird when it's just stuck like there and if you go to cliffs you should have the redstone cliffs and you should 
have mixed you should have them mixed with both sheer cliffs too so that actually looks a little bit I don't know cohesive or whatever just look one of them is metal and another one is like stone hey we can actually use this grating here that look weird in the other one yeah that that looks pretty much normal I guess and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial thanks for watching